What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with some more Destiny 2 news. Of course, we've just got the mid-episode update for Echoes, as well as the launch of Solstice of Heroes, but it would appear that the update has brought a little bit of extra information about an upcoming event for Destiny, and this is in the form of a 10th anniversary event. So I was wondering if Bungie were going to do something like this. Destiny 1 originally launched 10 years ago in September, so we're coming up on that anniversary now, and given that we had the 30th anniversary and the fact that 10 years is kind of a big deal, especially for a live service game that's pretty good going of course. And so Bungie do indeed plan to celebrate it in one way or another. So naturally there is a bit of data mining, a bit of database stuff right here, but this was shared by the Game Post and Destiny Bulletin, as well as Bungie leaks on Twitter. We can see a banner for the event right here, and immediately there's some armor that we can see there, which is inspired by, not quite identical to, but nearly the same armor as the original cover art for Destiny 1. There are some subtle differences between the armor pieces that we'll get in game and what was actually on that artwork, but it's near enough the same thing, so obviously that's the idea that Bungie are going after. But we can see as well from the banner, this is to celebrate 10 years of saving the universe with a new set of armor and secrets to discover. We don't know what these secrets will be just yet, but it says explore the pale heart and begin your hunt for hidden chests and armor pieces. It also says get started by finding gifts hidden within the pale heart, and these will come in the form of Cade stashes. And there'll also be a new title, which is simply called Legend. So of course that's pretty fitting and it has the 10 year logo on it. And apparently for the requirements, according to Bungie Leaks, it'll need us to collect all Cade 6 stashes. So presumably those are the ones that we're going to find in the Pale Heart. We don't know about additional rewards that they may have just yet, but it'll also need us to reach Guardian rank 8 or higher and to complete ritual activities with the veteran legend sets equipped. But there's also an objective to complete timeline reflections as well as decrypting engrams at Raul. Plus we'll need to defeat enemies and loot engrams in Skywatch with the veteran legend sets equipped, as well as claim the anniversary armor ornaments from the special deliveries terminal. So some new secrets on the Pale Heart, as well as a sort of push in the direction of timeline reflections, which take us through some of the old kind of expansion content, older missions. I'm not sure if Bungie are bringing back any other stuff. Some folks will potentially talk about Red War. I'm not sure that stuff like that will come back. But also given that there's a requirement to defeat enemies and loot engrams in the Skywatch, it looks like Bungie may lean in to the sort of loot cave component in the Cosmodrome for nostalgia purposes. Maybe there'll be a specific engram associated with the update. But additionally, Destiny Bulletin shared right here, there will be a Bungie Rewards pin for the title and an ornament for the Ace of Spades exotic can cannon. So given that that's Cade's weapon, I'm not sure if that will potentially factor in in some other way in terms of gameplay. But again, D1 originally was released in September. We don't have a specific date for the anniversary event just yet, but it seems very likely that it will be dropping into the game next month. As always, Bungie will give us more details at some point in the next few weeks, no doubt, but for today, that's what we currently know about it, and it's a confirmation that it is at least going to be a thing in the game. Also importantly, there are a few gameplay objectives in there. It says we'll get the anniversary armor ornaments from the special deliveries terminal, so I'm not sure if they'll be earned through some other gameplay method, but no doubt more details will follow. So I'll keep you posted on those when we get them. For today though, let us know if this is something that interests you. If you found the video useful, a rating below really does help us out as well. But otherwise for today, cheers for tuning in and I'll catch you guys very soon.